part by Inked Playmats at inkplaymats.com. Your place for custom-made playmats. Design your own or shop from other featured designers. Use promo code CLOTS to save 10% on your order. Inked Playmats. Your game, your style. To do on their website and come join us for a fun-friendly F&M environment. Hello everybody, this is Kevin from Klotz Productions, and welcome back to Game 2 of the match between Boros Blade and Zombies. I was on the play for this game and started off by laying down a planes and casting an elite vanguard. We did then play to Dark Six Shores and resolved a Gravecrawler. I played a Ghost Quarter on my turn and then put a Shrine of Burning Rage into play. I then attacked with my vanguard, which Rita took, going down to 18. She then laid down a Swamp on her turn and attacked with her Gravecrawler, dropping me to 18. Then post-combat, she played a Diagraphed Ghoul. I added a counter to my shrine on my upkeep and then attacked my vanguard, dropping Rita to 16. I then went down to 16 myself to cast a Porcelain Legionnaire. Rita played a Drowned Catacomb and then killed my Legionnaire with a Doom Blade. She then attacked with her two zombies, dropping me to 12. I added another counter to my shrine but didn't draw any more land, so paid another 2 life, going down to 10 to cast another Legionnaire. Rita played a Garrof's Messenger on her turn, dropping me to 8. Then I took my shrine up to 3 counters and put a Mountain into play. Rita attacked with her team on the next turn. I chose to block her messenger with my legionnaire and I blocked her ghoul with my vanguard. I then killed her grave crawler with an incinerate and then when her messenger came back I went down to 6 life. In post combat Rita used a geth's verdict to make me sacrifice my legionnaire and dropped me down to 5. She then replayed her grave crawler from the graveyard. I laid down an isolated chapel on my next turn and put a hero blade hold into play. Rita then attacked with both of her creatures, so I chose to trade the blade hold with her messenger and then took two from the Gravecrawler, going down to three. I played a Chandra's Phoenix on my next turn, but chose not to attack with it. Then Rita attacked with her Gravecrawler again, which I traded for with my Phoenix. She then played a second Gravecrawler and then played the first one from her graveyard again. I then took my Shrine up to eight counters, but just passed my next turn. Then Rita attacked with both of her Gravecrawlers, so I killed one with an Incinerate and then took the other two, going down to one life. She then replayed the Gravecrawler again, and then I used a Brimstone Volley on her, which did 5 damage to her since a creature died this turn, dropping her to 11. My Shrine then went up to exactly 11 counters in my upkeep, so I went ahead and sacrificed it and used it to finish Rita off, giving me the win to the game and taking us to Game 3. So that's it for this gameplay, I hope you all enjoyed it. You can find the full version and the annotations at the end, along with links to my vlog and my Let's Play Duels of the Planeswalkers 2012. If you like this or any other video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and add it to your favorites, then subscribe to be notified when more videos are online. 